Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Evil Infinity Involved Sky Block. I'm getting better at saying it real, real quickly. Uh, we're going to pick up where we left off last time. And we picked up after we made um, some witchery stuff. Um, we're going to progress a little bit deeper into the witchery because we need some witchery stuff to progress further down. Uh, the magical line. Um, so if we jump into our little guide here, we got the magic tree, we got the witchery. So we did all of this. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to cook up some of your basic ingredients for your first mutandus. Now we need mutandus in order to start getting some of the different types of trees and stuff. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need we have the witch's oven. We made that last episode. But we need to make, so here's the mutandus. In order to get the mutandus, we need a witch's cauldron, which we're going to use the anointing paste on. Uh, we will do that today. We need some mandrake root, which we have. We need some eggs, which we also have. And we need some exhale of the horned one. To get exhale of the horned one, we need to cook up some oak asapalines. We also need to have some clay jar and some sort of fuel in there. So we're going to need some clay jars. Clay jars are made by smelting up some soft clay jars, which are made from some clay. Luckily, we have some dust in our inventory, and we can run over to our barrels and make some clay pretty simply. Pretty easy. I'm just going to take this second, guys, just to say thank you for all the support on this series, and on the Pioneer series as well. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. And I really do thank you for all your continued support. Um, if you guys could keep hitting that like button, that would be super, super awesome. Um, it just helps me out by getting out there. The more likes and the more views we get, the higher up the rankings it's going to be for the listing. And, okay, that's one we're already using. Um, the better it's just going to be all round for everybody. So if you guys could keep doing that, that would be awesome. We're going to cook up some of these while that's happening. We're going to come down here. We're going to grab ourselves. Uh, I can see them. So we're just going to grab you. And we're going to grab you. Perfect. Run, run. We need... Actually, we need... We need... Redstone. And we're going to need... I wonder if we have any in here. Flint and steel. Perfect. So we're going to need to come over to our little barrel. We'll take that nether rack. That should be enough, just two. How are you looking? You got five there. Nee. Let's go for eight and then we can walk away from this. We'll come back later. Uh, let's check this, guys. So once we get the witch's oven, we made the anointing paste last time. Um, this is just, now there's a trick, you don't have flint and steel, how can you light the fire under the cauldron? Nitro won't work, so we'll remember the fire charge made in Thorncraft. This is the perfect time for that, you can use a block of coal or you can use the smeltery to create a netherrack. We're good. Now with your lit witcher's cauldron you can make the mutandus. So that's what we need to do. Um, perfect. Let's go back. We're going to have to set up like a little water source near it. Um, we could probably use some fluid. Uh, or we could just use some um, some water. So we're going to have our altar somewhere in this general area. So I think we'll start by placing you there. Let's get you up in here. There we go. Catch those fumes. Thank you very much. Um, perfect. So while we're waiting on that bad boy, let's come over here. Let's dig down here. Let's get rid of you. A magnet should help very, very much here. Let's fire you up. Let's do that. We need to make a cauldron. I did run the piping over to here. It's saying there's no nutrient in here, but I don't know. We can still access everything. Yeah. 
So we need a cauldron. I think that's what we needed. Um, a cauldron to which is cauldron. Yeah. So if we place bad boy down, bam, perfect. We're amazing. We really are, guys. We're amazing. We can do that. We'll get rid of you. Give me, give me. Bit of flint and steel. Boom. That should cook up nicely. Let's get rid of this. Perfect. Now we just need to make sure we have some water in here at all times. Um, so I was sort of thinking... Around here. I wish I could go lower. I never, I didn't put the platform underneath this time, guys. Because um, I just ran out of time. Pretty plain and simple there. Um, but let's go and make a bucket. Unless we have one in the system. We do. We got two. Um, why are you not returning? Are they going? Yeah, perfect. And we need a node. That's a liquid one. Um, liquid. Take one of you. We need a world. Interaction upgrade. Nope. We have no sticks. Okay, interesting. There we go. You're not returning. There we go. This one over here is acting funny. Hmm, doesn't seem to be working as it should. We have plenty of sticks. I don't know what's up with this one. Look at that. We have iron. Obviously, I don't have a setting correct. Somewhere. And we'll take that world interaction upgrade. And do we have any pipe? Yes, we do. We'll take that. Perfect. Can we not grab those buckets? No, I swore we grabbed those buckets. Ah, oh, we used them. Yeah. It's all good. Your finger is on the button. We will eat. I wasn't going to, but we will. Alright, let's place you down there. You go on there. You can then go. Perfect. Let's do you. Ah! We're amazing. Uh, we're actually going to stop you. Nope, because he's still got some clay jars left. You don't want to be doing that without clay jars in there. That's for sure. I think our one problem with this Ender IO system that we have is the auto crafting. We're going to have to go to logistic pipes for the auto crafting unless we can get into AE relatively quickly um, and I know 
for a fact that that's probably not going to be the case. Alrighty, so we're going to need a bit of mutandus. Mandrake, thank you very much. We need an egg. We just go past our chickens. Our chickens are over here. I'm sure we'll collect an egg or two. Yes, we did. Alrighty. So if we go... Q, Q, Q. We wait for... Yep, there we go. We got the stars. Please give me more than one. Six. Cool. Alright, well let's go and make a little bit more. Ah, uh, we want bone. And we want to get rid of you. I know there's probably a... We need to really make 10, 10, 10 crops of this. Because I, I know we're going to use a lot of mandrake. Um, probably not something you guys want to see. Me sitting here just crossbreeding. And we've already done that before. Surely we haven't used that much. Cool. I really want to just run over here and check these settings. Um, it's just really annoying me at the moment that we're not... Yep. Yep. It's all good. It's all good. And bump you up. You're all good. You're all good. And you should be extracting. So these are things we don't have things for yet. Which is cool. That was craft. Alrighty. Quick sleep job. Let me sleep. Stretching of the old neck. Alright. Let's keep going down this witchery line. Bit of mutandus. I'm actually going to want you guys. If I'm going to be honest. Um, what's the chances of these guys having already done some more eggs? Not. But we do have them. So that's filled straight back up, which is awesome. You, you. Swirly, swirly, give me. Wait for it to boil. Gotta wait for the boil. It's got to boil. There we go. Q, Q, Q. We don't need a fern. Don't need that, or that, or that, or that. Um, you need shears. I really don't want to fall off this edge. So we'll take that. Not sure if we need it. 
we'll take the hawthorn sapling. We'll take that sapling. Oh, Spanish moss, yes, we will definitely take. Take a rowan sapling. Oh, that's awesome. We're doing so well. Why does it let me take that many? It's really strange. Boiling. Let's double check there's not anything else we need. Have we gotten older? Yes, Rowan. Spanish Hawthorne. I believe that's all of them. The Rowan, the Older, and the Hawthorne. Yes, yes it is. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to have another one. So what we're going to do... make these guys grow. We're going to come in, we're going to chop them down. Oh, this is a good one. It's a nice big tree. don't know why that grew so big. I don't want to go over the edge. Man. Axe of the stream would be awesome right about now. Let's just jump up here. Magnetization should be working perfect. Take a U. So I'm assuming we're going to need quite a few of these. Take them all. Alright, let's check our little book, see where we need to go next. So we got that, we got that, we got the mutandus. Now that you can use that on plant life to change it to a rowan sapling, so you can cook that down to a whiff of magic. Ah, okay, we're heading towards the attuned stone. Awesome, because you need that. Very, very early. Were we chasing a rowan? Yes, we were. Perfect. Get those seven going. We need to keep some of these so that we don't lose them. It's just like a oddest number. To give me. I don't know what its problem is. Stupido. All right. Let's make another little brew of this. It's boiling. That'll fire up. We got a whiff of magic. Are these a guaranteed? It looks like it might be. Which is good. That 
that ring of magnetization is the best thing we've done I'd have to say we don't have to worry about losing stuff or forgetting about stuff it's just boom sucks it in oh man we've got tons awesome perfect so let's just go put you in there grab that whiff of magic we're going to need a diamond day uh, we'll just grab That's a little bit trickier. We don't have lava set up to be readily available as of yet. We do need to figure out a system for that. Um, and I'm hoping it shouldn't be too hard. And we really need to set up a system so this auto feeds itself. There's a couple of different ways we can do it. Oops. Um, if I do that and then hold shift, it shouldn't come to me. Yeah, there we go. A tombstone. Awesome. Awesome. All right, let's look at the guide. See what we need to go after that and that will get you started into blood magic okay awesome um, now that you have some basic ingredients we can make our first blood altar so okay that's all pretty simple um, okay sacrificial orb well I think that is where we might leave it today guys um, we didn't get to make actually let's have a look at our altar what do we need for the altar this altar. We need Exhale of the Horn One and Breath of the Goddess. So that is Birch. Don't know that we have Birch. We have to use um, and Exhale of the Horn One. Okay, well, let's do this. Are we going to be lucky enough to get a Birch? Oh, look at that. Why do we even question ourselves? grab a couple of these I think we're gonna have to make a little setup to get some clay have a continual supply of um, clay as well perfect Let's just build ourselves a little stockpile The more different types of trees we also have when we um, create our altar will help the altar power quite a bit. Um, so a whole heap of varieties is always good. Man, these, these trees do not pay out. Is there a trick to making them pay out more? If you guys know of a trick, please let me know. Because we got like two from that one. We need lots. Okay. So how many jars we got left? Four. Gonna put some back in the system. Always gotta have some in the system. Wrong berries. It's good. Perfect. So that will make us two. So we need three breaths of goddess and three exhales of the horn ones. And we needed rom wood and stone brick. Okay. So we need six of them S 
stone, 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 stone. Now we dumped a bit of stone. Oh, there we go. Let's just do this. Oh. That should be enough of those. And then we're just waiting on this one. Be nice to get the altar at least set down. Uh, water bottles, okay. So we have two. Oh, we have plenty of glass bottles. That would be from the uh, spawner. What's the chances we got three? We got one. Hmm. All right. We need the birch. The birch. So, yeah, we got very unlucky. How many pots do we have left? Three. So we're going to have to make some more of them too. Let's see how quickly we can do this. Five, wow. We're going to keep one as a spare. really want to get that altered done this episode. Come on. Give me all of them. Two, so we just need one more. It could very potentially come from the ones we've already done. But it can't hurt to have more birch. Beautiful. Okay. That should be everything that we need. Let's go over here. Let's get rid of you guys. So we're going to go like so. Like so. You. Perfect. Now the reason I'm setting this stuff up near our altar is because... Um, it's going to need it later on. So if we were to do or something like that. Ah, oh, perfect. Alter power of 255. Perfect. Alright, next episode we're going to come back. We're going to have a look. I'm going to extend the platform this way for our blood magic. Uh, we'll have a look at some blood magic and we'll also look at prettying up our um, witchery area and getting our altar up to a decent amount of power. Um, and we can look at some of the artifacts and stuff that can go on here, and then we can move on from there. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said at the, at the start, thank you very much for all the support you guys have been giving me. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I look forward to seeing you all for the next episode. Bye now.